On this episode of Living the Dream, Captain Jimmy and Louisa travel to Grand Bahama in search of old Bahama Bay's angling action. With Captain Keith Cooper as their guide, the action finds them. This is Live in the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson, presented by Salt Life. Live salty. Ah! Ooh, good fish. Woo! Hey! Man, what a fish. Wow. Doesn't get any better than Baja. This is awesome. What I'm talking about. guys today we're out here with Keith of West End Ecology Tours and uh, what we're doing is we're setting up to try to catch some mutton snapper and all we're doing is really cutting up some uh, pilchards and sprats and different bait that he has here on the island and we're just taking this chum and we're just throwing it in the water we're gonna do this for about 15 minutes or so and just keep getting these fish chummed up pull them next to the boat and see if we can get off the bottom After throwing some chum in the water, I went ahead and put some bait on my hook and flipped it out there and I set my rod in the rod holder and I turned around to pick a couple things up and my rod doubled over right away. First cast, I was already hooked up. There it is, fish on. Fish on. Oh man, <laughs> turned around for two seconds. That's a good one, buddy. That's a good mutton snapper right there. Good job, Jimmy. <laughs> oh man. Got us on some fish now. Looking good. All right, well, welcome back to another episode of Living the Dream. Today we're out here in West End of Grand Bahama with Keith of West End Eco Tours, and we are on some fish. This is my first line in the water. I just set in the rod holder to turn around and put the bubble blade back up, and I got one running. Oh, here he is, here he is. Woo! Look at this mutton! Oh my gosh! Woo <laughs> this is what it's all about! Jimmy, what a great Nice! Welcome to the Bahamas! Yes. Woo! Awesome. If you guys want to catch mutton snapper like this, Give Keith a call. His information is going to pop up on the screen and he can put you on this fish. First drop, big mutton snapper. Wow. Right after I threw that big mutton in the angle, Louisa hooked up. Wow. It's we got down. a good one here. I think I have a big fish here, guys. Nice, nice mutton. mutton. Nice mutton. Oh, it's, nice. A, it's a margate. It's a big margate. A margate. Oh, yes. There yes. you go. Oh, good right. job. Right. White margate are very good to eat. It's a very white meat. So we definitely don't throw those guys back either if we're trying to get some fish together for a fish fry. There you go. Nice margate. He <laughs> fell hard. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Looked him perfect. After Louisa landed that big margate, she ended up hooking into another nice mutton snapper. There you go, get, get oh, him yeah. <laughs> I did. Woo! Good oh, job. My goodness, what is this fish? I almost went overboard. What I have here is 40 pound Yozuri top knot leader. Much needed here because we have a lot of rocks, a lot of everything that could break us off. It's a nice mutton. It's a really nice mutton, guys. Oh my gosh. All right. Beautiful fish. There he is. Nice. Oh. Woo. Another stud. Another stud. <laughs> Look how 
pretty that is. These fish, they put up a fight. They're fun. No kidding. And if you've seen the rod she's using, that's a 20 to 40 class Tsunami Elite Series rod. Yep. The same rods that we're using for yellowfin tuna, we're out here using for mutton snapper. Such a versatile rod, you can catch so many different types of fish on them. We're this definitely gonna be eating good tonight. That's for sure. This is gonna be great dinner right here. Stay tuned for more Living the Dream after these messages. Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by Salt Life. Live salty. Sea Deck. Your boat deserves Sea Deck. CH Lures. Be a winner with CH Lures. Yozuri. Fish the best. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. And by Cressy, since 1946. Captain Jimmy and Louisa are in Grand Bahama at the Old Bahama Bay Resort. Just minutes into Chopping Chum with Captain Keith, Jimmy lands the first of many massive muttons. It was really nice to be on such a hot reef bite because sometimes you get out there in certain areas and you can be fishing for reef fish and just catching little yellow tails and little grunts and mangroves and stuff and not really get those big muttons in there. So to have a consistent mutton snapper bite was really nice. Woo! <laughs> Louisa right behind you. Woo oh man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> These things are so strong. Look at that rod, man. They just double it over. And for a reef fish to be this shallow, just running out like this, it's so much fun. We're only in about 15 feet of water right here, just catching monster mutton. What a fish. Things were going great with Captain Keith this morning. I mean, this guy is on the fish. He has the reef fish dialed in here in West End, and he does it in very shallow water. So if you wanted to spear fish for him or just fish in shallow water, he is the man when it comes to that. One after another out here. Wow, man. I tell you what, the Bahamas is a really special place to be able to come out here and catch a mutton snapper like this in this shallow of water. Such beautiful fish. Check out the blues and stuff on his face and just the red in his eyes. Real, real pretty fish, and one of the best eating snapper, too. And this is the kind of fishing I like. One hit after another. Oh, it's coming at me. Oh, got him. Oh, I like to see what happened there. That fish started coming at me. I didn't get a good hook set, so I hit that hook again. And he's down there on a rock. I feel him rubbing just to make sure he gets that thing in his mouth, because they do have hard mouths. Oh, it's a big old margate. Margates are great to eat, so of course we were glad to see that one as well. He got it down in there pretty good. And to show you what we're using, we're just using chunks of uh, Blue Runner, about twice that size. He chewed that up some. This makes good chum though. And a three aught J hook. So I'm gonna grab my pliers here, show you the hook we're using. Here it is, three-aught J-hook. I definitely prefer J over circle for any reef fish, grouper, snapper, anything like that, because when that fish hits, you have to hit back, or he's going down in a hole, he's going in the reef, and you're gonna lose the fish. You wanna be able to yank that fish out as soon as he hits, and that's the thing that goes good with the J-hook. If you have a circle hook, it's not down the right, it's just gonna slide right out of the mouth. Circle hooks are designed not to hook a fish. They're designed to slide out till it hits a groove. A J-hook's gonna go right in there, just like that one did, right in, right in the mouth, right there in the side of that mouth, and you're gonna catch fish. And if he happens to break off, it's gonna be a lot better for him because he can work that J-hook out easier than a circle hook. If a circle hook gets stuck in there, it's not gonna work out easy. It'll rip up his guts and everything else. That's a big old Margate there. They're pretty doggone good to eat as well. Pretty much like a big grunt. Strawberry. A little strawberry, 
my grouper. <laughs> Look how cute this grouper looks. After catching a few nice mutton snappers and several other reef fish. This right here is a queen trigger fish. Real pretty. Look in his mouth. Watch how dark this is. You see these teeth here? He about got me right there. You see those teeth? If those teeth get you, you could lose a finger. We decided to go ahead and pull the lines in and start trolling back towards the resort because the wind was picking up. A yellowtail on a Yozuri. That's pretty nice. It's the hydro mineral. We're just gonna see if we can catch a mutton snapper or something trolling this thing, and a yellowtail buried that thing in his mouth. And it was a big surprise that it was a yellowtail snapper. I don't know if I've ever caught a yellowtail snapper trolling before. First time I've caught a yellowtail trolling. Right after that yellowtail, Louisa ended up hooking up. 